My sniper has picked things up. I'm prepared. You sound very I'm chipper. Just in case that minefragger decides to come for my operative on this side. Uh, likewise. At this stage, I could jump across, but I'd have to use up some more will to do it. But it's worth it, I feel. If I jump here, I'm going to restore everyone's will. And then you can move down to this side, get a good view of the battlefield on this end. Oh, a spear rifle. Okay, good that that's um, with the person who can carry the most extra weight. Um, won't be able to, though. Well, actually, yeah, I, I, I will be able to pick it up. It is a bit of a hefty weight, though. Okay. Hey, Belial. How you doing, buddy? There has been a tea break, yes. Thank you very much for checking. How was your games, buddy? I hope you had a fun time. Okay, Trident. Okay, good. Not sure about it being the best, but it's certainly dangerous enough. Right, let's get in there and see what we've got. Uh, oh, ooh. Independent assault rifle. Now, before I do anything there... Ready, willing, and able. Here I am, let's do this. I want to move my units around a bit. Make sure I've got decent cover. You can't really grab anything else, but... Let's draw back and away from everything on this side. I'm just going to have you sprint. And to achieve this, we're going to use your uh, abilities here. It's going to cost three will points, but you can restore all of them by going here first. There we go. And then you're going to do it again for an extra will point. Pushing on. Yep. And from here, you're in a fairly good position to cover. You can cover down here. Should I take things? Or should I... I think we're going to... Go ahead and uh, overwatch here. You can definitely pick things up though. I can't grab that, sadly. Is there only one? Yeah, we'll grab that then. We'll take the grenade. To replace the one we've previously had. The... Assault rifle is probably more precious, but if I only take that right now, then you can remain in overwatch. Later on, I'll use your jetpack to get you out of there, nice and fast. Got my ass kicked in Iron Helm, though. <laughs> Need to rethink my strats, or choose a different starting character. Had fun getting crushed, though. So that will, that's what really matters. Yeah. Agreed. Very much agreed. Let's see what we got. Okay, they resisted the days, but that's fine. All right. Uh, I'll grab you. I'm gonna grab this. Anything else we really want here? They're mostly independent. I guess I'll take that. Well, in fact, I'll load up. That's all we're taking. For now. And with that, let's go into Overwatch once again. They're not getting past me. I agree. At this stage, I'm going to grab everything I can that I think is particularly... Ooh, maybe, maybe not quite that much. Okay. 
Let's stop short of going any further with that. I can always jump over there if I need to. Which would be useful. Alright, let's start moving back to the final crate. Oh my lord, I, I saw that there, I was like, oh no, does being overburdened make me bleed? Why? But no, we're good. I got this covered. Right, well, given that we've got that much cover now, I'm happy for you to make a rush. Uh, that being said, I don't really need to rush Maybe that far. Now. Let's continue to be more cautious about this. I'm on Overwatch. As for you, is there any way that I can get? No, I don't think so. So let's just rocket jump over here. Store all the points. I swear that jetpack is amazing. Part enabled head? What? They can just regenerate blown off bits? I didn't realize that. That is most vexing. I had no idea that they could just regenerate torn off bits. Over there. Not too much of a concern, but can they actually get up here, I wonder? Or are they stuck down there? Funny if they are stuck down there, though. Um, again, these enemies are not particularly well suited to range combat so I feel confident in positioning my troops fairly exposed Receiving. but I don't want to be too ballsy in that regard yeah I've seen the regeneration tour so I just uh, assumed that it, it wouldn't allow them to regrow parts that were blown off I just as assumed it would patch up the hit points, much like the med kit does, if that makes sense. May have to move you away. I mean, it would be an amazing shot if you could do it, but I don't trust that at all. So, what I could do instead... Is let them come at you. Operative on the move. I'll keep both eyes open. That is very good news. Nothing's getting past me. I basically opened the door and told them to come in with that. We'll see what happens. No. Decided not. Decided against such a risky move. I can respect that. Alright. Take care, Bilal. You have a good sleep, mate. Make sure you enable your head. I will do just that. I promise. This stage, which one of you has the items to collect? Is it you? You've got room for one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have someone juggle one item into their inventory. Let's go, go, go! Hey, Ava, here's an idea. Dappercon. Uh, but where? I mean, it's a good idea. I like it. Where? 
It's a much more difficult problem to solve than you might imagine. They're not getting past me. Area covered. Let's continue our retreat. Hello. Too bad. Oh, very nice indeed. So, two, minus two will points already. Glorious. I'm going to need to reload. Which is free, because I had the foresight to... Uh, move the uh, ammunition into my inventory. Heading out. I'll grab you. I may as well grab you. Right, you can evacuate straight away. But we're not going to do that just yet. Ready, willing, and able. I will have my sniper make a run for it now, though. You can use... Pistol Overwatch. And you can just straight up lag it. Did that enemy just deflate? I know it did sound like that, didn't it? Yes. I suspect they did. Get a nice wide cone there. Um... About here. They approach. Nothing's getting past me. And again, if they approach too close. They should just make a beeline, but we'll see. Looks like they are. Once you don't build this bring the structure down with yourself on it. I had no idea we were fighting balloons. Yeah, no, this is the new balloons t tower defense, didn't you know? What's our plan? Acquiring target. Oh, very nice indeed. You can evacuate in this turn. Can you get out of here in this turn? No, not quite. So we Let's will withdraw a little bit, but not entirely leave. Oh yeah. Draw back a bit in. more. Start protecting all the areas that They're someone might past me. use to uh, get here. You've got enough will points to not have to worry. And you as well. Good. Immediately alerted. Right, at this stage, fairly certain that everyone can reach this. So, let's go ahead and leave. Okay, I need to do it like that. Since killing the enemies doesn't get us more experience points, we may as well just immediately leave. Let's rock. I'm on the move. That was almost a flawless mission. If it weren't for the little bit of damage we took. There we go. Thank you for that joke, Havoc. I needed it tonight. <laughs> Welcome. I'm everyone with nail guns. Right, okay, not too bad. Got a level up there for Butters Ray. Oh, Otacog. Thank you, Will Calder. I was away when you gifted the sub, but if you are here, I appreciate it. There you go. Signal boosted for you, buddy. Right, got quite a lot of materials there. And two new weapons as well. I'm not sure how they stack up, but we can always check that out in a moment. 
Uh, right, you're slightly wounded, but we've still got time to take a couple of other moves. Ooh, yeah, we absolutely want this. This will reduce overwatch cost by one action point, which means I can overwatch with my sniper weapon for two action points, and with my s pistol for no action points. Very nice number, that. Right, can anyone else afford an upgrade to their speed? Yes, you can. Uh, I mean, melee weapon proficiency wouldn't be too bad, but uh, let's go for speed. I want to be able to move much fast, yes. Phoenixopedia. Experience skill points. All right, all of their tutorial messages. Oh my lord, there's so many. Why? No. Oh, actually, no, this is good. Um, so, where are you? Which ones did we get? Damage 30. Damage 30. This has got a six round burst and a uh, shred of six. So this has got a six round burst, one shred, though. Effective range is 17, and I believe that's less than over this, yeah. Has to use two. Wait. I would say these are probably going to be straight up worse. Oh, this one's 60. This one's 35. But it has 10 bursts instead of three. Less shred. But there's an argument to be made for this one. Not much of one, but there is an argument to be made for it. Oh, my lord. All the independent armor as well. Scarab, Manticore. Oh, wow. There's a lot of lore. Dear Lord. We may come back to that one day. Right. Well, we've cleared that one. Time to continue looking. Am I winning? Uh, so far, yes. Our operatives have located an abandoned military outpost. It is unclear which nation's military it belonged to, since this region's government fractured heavily during World War III. All available resources have been recovered. No additional information regarding the site itself has come to light. Nice! 375 materials, 65 tech, and 225 food. I am absolutely going to build a manufacture, uh, sorry, a fabrication plant here then. Ooh, wait, no, 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 no. That would push me above my uh, power. That's annoying. Then let's pop down a power plant. Three days. And a fabrication plant would take four days. So we could build this and have enough power by the end of it. Yeah. And then, finally, um, how many personnel can be at this base? How much does living quarters give? All soldiers at the base, even if assigned to an aircraft, will recover two stamina points per hour for each living quarters in the base. Oh. Oh, is there no limits to the amount of operatives that can be in here, then, based on that? Huh. Storage facility for all weapons, armor, equipment, and armor. Storage capacity is shared across all bases. But what about the amount of... I don't think that there's a limit there. Okay. So, what I could do then is get a fabrication plant and then two training facilities. Tonk, tonk. I already have a fab plant, yes, but the more, the faster. Right now, for example, if I wanted to build some armor... Take me 18 hours, 20 hours. Once we get to, like, really high-tech armor, that's going to be days. It's already one day and 14 hours for a golem bee. Uh, for a scarab, it'll take me four days and seven hours. For a manticore, ten days. For munitions, it's generally fine because they're instant productions. But for, like, example, grenades, four hours. It's eight per. Ah, right, okay. Thank you very much for that. 
Because it didn't mention it in the base, I, I wasn't really sure about that. Well, I can still have a training facility here and an extra living quarters. That would still work. What does the access lift do? Uh, it gives you access to the outside. Uh, it's literally it. Right, let's get that on the grid. Let's do more scanning. The dreamers awaken. Fort Taggart is a haven run by New Jericho, which means that normal things are quiet and under control. Normally things are quiet and under control. But right now there is an emergency. A group of soldiers are on a killing spree. Began with strange dreams. Voices heard in the night, a local doctor tells our operatives. I could not detect any uh, physiological changes, and there were certainly no signs of infection, but their behaviour simply cannot be explained by PTSD or similar conditions, which we at New Jericho are, sadly, quite familiar with. It's like something has driven them mad. If we stop these soldiers, New Jericho will undoubtedly be grateful to us. Uh, sure, we'll start the mission. See no reason not to. Uh, it's fine. I'll just try and keep you away from the danger. All items on the battlefield will automatically be recovered after the mission success. So, this is a potential for us to grab some extra gear. Chat, we're going to have to decide who who we're going to favor. Once I've met all factions, we'll, we'll have that discussion. More than the favor, though, I think it's probably more whether we are going to directly oppose a faction. Uh, we well not oppose. If there's going to be a faction who we don't care about angering, it's probably the better way to Because you can sort of be friends with all of them. You just can't ally with all of them. Right. There are not going to be any reinforcements here. We have got evac over there. So this comes down to not dying. Which may be harder than it is would first appear. Alright. There's a window there. Shall we have a peek inside? No one inside, okay. Good to know. I can make a difference. I'm sure you can. There's a ladder over on this side that will give us access to the landing here and also everything in the courtyard. I could just jump jet up there, but I think I'd rather not. There is a ladder over there that would take us down. Though these windows would also give us entry points. Important to note. Uh, which way are we going to go in? I think we're going to go in in this way. That said. Moving to coordinates. We'll have some overwatch there. I would love it if you could get all the way in there. Sadly, you can't. Alright, let's just move close. To, oh. Okay. Have you got a sight on them? No, not really. But, since I can see them, let's get into some cover. Um... Let's go. Yeah, let's let's get into cover around these walls. And that's going to be an important one for us. I would like you to tell me if there's anything down this side. No. Okay, good. Right. Overwatch for you. Down there. They're not getting past me. Uh, you can draw back a little bit. I would like you to use Overwatch, which oh, actually I can put into pist uh sniper weapon Overwatch in fact. Pop that overwatch right on the edge. If they come to the edge, you need to take a shot. Ready. And you can go into overwatch in this room. Alright. I think that's good enough. And turn. Uh, hi, Avak. I see you're playing a game that's easy to both love and hate. Oh, wow. That probably hurt them. That was a good shot. They don't know what to do. They're like, ah, ha, ha, ow! 
The ant just attacked me. Okay. I could open that door with one character and have the others array up inside ready to attack. Let's have a look at you. Oh, you've got to turn fireballs. Okay, that means that we want to attack from safety, from some degree of cover. Oh, they're all going to have it, aren't they? All right. In that case, what I want is for them to trigger Overwatch, because I believe that does not cause return fire. I got this covered. I can make a difference. Anyone pops their face out through this door, I want you to shoot it off. On Overwatch, let them come. Same for you. Um, you might still come out the this door here, which is a problem for me. Area covered. Actually, draw back a bit. Let's do this. On the next turn, you can head down there and offer a little bit more support. I'm on Overwatch. I want them to come to me if possible. They're now going to look for me. Here we go. Perfect. Both of you, shoot. Hopefully they don't get to shoot back because Overwatch. Perfect. <coughs> Absolutely perfect. Flawless execution. An execution in more senses than one. You're an issue, though, because you are going to get a chance to attack me no matter what I do here. That's a problem. I can get some degree of cover here. Yeah. Let's get that cover. You too. Actually, I want you... So aim down that side. Uh, uh, you're a little bit more of an issue. Now, I could try and lob a grenade. Would be totally possible. If I go over here, I'm only going to have... I'm not going to have two movement points left. If I go here, I won't have two. But from here, I would... If I can successfully execute this. Yeah, I can't have you exposed there anymore. Um, My turn. I feel this is going to drop them inside if it works correctly. And if so, I'm just going to put you over there. Oh, yeah, it's good. Okay, there we are. Uh, blast damage is applied to every individual body part of a target caught in the blast, which can be devastating. It's also quite good at shredding armor from multiple body parts. It is indeed good. very good. Very, very good. I'm prepared. Problem is they may well come around this corner and take a shot at you if you're exposed here, but I feel in. that it's going to be an important one. For them to stick their face out rather than me stick my head out it's whether or not you're going to be able to do enough damage here now if i'm super lucky their armor no they've still got loads of armor right we're just gonna to have to make a choice and i think it'd be better to aim down there here you can get back into heavy cover. All right, let's see what they do. They may stop to you. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Oh, wow, that's a perfect shot because that just ruined it. They were moving out to take a shot and we just disabled their arm, which meant they couldn't shoot. Oh, and again, glorious. That could not have gone better. 
Enemies in Overwatch will fire at any vehicle or soldier that enters their targeting zone. That could not have possibly gone better. In both instances, we took out their arms. Glorious. Uh, I saw this game when it launched. What changed between now and when the game launched? Uh, basically, they finished it. Uh, it is now the game that it was intended to be. Let's put it that way. I'm not going to risk having you move, but... Can you I'll get into position there? Can you get through the window, maybe? Nope. Alright, well, let's move down here. I got this covered. And I don't know what they're going to do, but I suspect it won't be trying to come around this corner again. Nevertheless, Moving to we can probably get in here and take a shot. Lining up a shot. Yep. Ah. Yep. Don't really want to be in here anymore, but no way I can move. So we're just going to have to. I'm prepared. Alright, you can at this point consider a jump jet move. There would be Easy. perfect for me. They're currently just bleeding at the moment. And they can't really do much. They might have been able to heal. Using a med kit, perhaps, but... Oh, that, that would be risky. The risk there would be intense. If I just jumped down, I'd have a great shot, but... There's also a great deal of potential death there for me. Okay. Is that it? Ah, oh, glorious. Flawlessly executed. There we go. Nice. Bunch of level ups. I had always assumed the Phoenix Project would return one day, even after Symes disappeared. It seems to be the defining pattern of your history. Fall, then rise again. I wonder if this points to an underlying weakness or an underlying strength. I suppose time will have to tell. Time and the choices you make. Well. After all, you are not necessarily defined by what has come before. You can be whatever your will allows you to be. That is the essence of the human experience. What happened to those soldiers was disturbing. That is why I did not intervene. We could have stopped those soldiers ourselves easily enough. But I needed you to see, to understand that far more is at stake here than just our ecosystem or our genetic purity. We are being robbed of what makes us human, our will. I fear neither the Utopians at Synedrian nor those Anu fanatics really understand that. If you can recognize the real nature of the threat, perhaps we can work together on stopping it. Well, we got plus four relationship with New Jericho and 440 materials or honeycombs, as the case may be. Uh, let's have a quick look at the Haven. They've got a training center, a factory, residential district, elite residences. What would happen? Oh, steel aircraft. Right, 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 right. Um, you could raid it to get materials if you wanted to. And this is what I meant when I said, who should we ally with? And then corrected myself, who really should we face off against? Who who should be the, the go-to faction that we try to raid? Because trying to juggle all of their um, standing, that would be difficult. But pushing them like, you know, having someone that we don't mind being effectively 
an enemy of and being able to, to raid will allow us to keep the other two at a higher degree of um, allegiance. Again, though, there are other factions now, at least from what chat was saying, and, and uh, I believe there's like a, an ancient faction or something like that as well. There's a lot more stuff in here. Oh, here we go. Diafaram, Diafodam. Indeed. We catch wind of an ongoing Anuv ritual called the Augury. It's a form of divination based on the observation of birds and signs in the sky. The disciples deem the readings of utmost importance, broadcasting the same message on all frequencies. It says, The moon is dark, and the gods dance in the night. Diafaram, Diafodam. There is terror in the sky. The long, winging flight through the void shall find its resting place tonight, and those below shall suffer, one and all. Diafaram, Diafodam. One and all. Somehow this unnerving sound clip manages to cause unease amongst the most scientifically minded members of our staff. Very well. We have got level ups to apply as well. Ooh. Right there, right in the middle of it. Oof. Nasty. Uh, but let's go ahead and apply our level ups. Um, all enemies within 10 tiles have their action points reduced to 2 for the next turn. That would actually be a decent one, because that would mean if they move, then they either need like a melee attack which only, or a range attack which only has 1 AP, which is generally not going to do a lot of damage, or they'll just move twice. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that, and I will also grab a little bit more speed. Done and done. Time for you to get dash. And some more speed. Ooh. Quick aim. The action point cost of the next shot with a proficient weapon is reduced by one. Hmm. Well, wh three will points? That's rather expensive. I don't know. Don't know about that one. I don't know. Now, the fun thing with XCOM was when they decided to add timers because they thought it was fun to make folks rush and the fans set fire to everything and made mods nuking the timers. Devs have really weird ideas of how folk actually want to play it. I, I mean... I am always going to be a champion of having, you know, trying new things. Because you don't know if it'll work sometimes unless you try. And it's very easy in the game industry to not ever try something new. Because of the risk that it might not be well received. Now, we have actually got a bunch of... Um, we've got two Bulldog AR-50 New Jericho Assault Rifles. How does this stack? Okay, so it does 10 damage more straight away. Does one shred more straight away. Has two less in its burst. Has slightly less effective range. Slightly less ammo capacity, but that's fine because it uses less. This can fire um, six times. This can fire uh, eight times. So that's not too terrible. The burst is... The shred is nice, and the, the extra damage is very nice. Hmm. I wonder, can we reverse engineer that? Yes, and I'd only need one of them to do it. Well, if I want to use this, and it is a better rifle... In terms of his raw damage output, I think I would like that, yeah. Okay. Um, it'll take me one day, though, to do. I can research New Jericho. And I would like to do that. I'm going to pop that in first, and then we're going to pop New Jericho in behind.
Got that done. I can go ahead and add a little bit more equipment there. Nice. Okay. And we'll have one full reload then later. Right, we're going to get over here and we're going to do this one quickly because it's right in the mist. The Phoenix Archives. After recovering the base and analyzing the data banks that have been left functional, it is clear that Phoenix Point is now the only operating Phoenix base. There may be other bases out there, but we will need to find them and bring them back online. There is no sign of Randolph Symes III, but he has left something potentially useful for us. Randolph Symes was the last leader of the Phoenix Project. His great-grandfather had been there when it was founded, and he was there to witness its end. When we took back Phoenix Point, we found his notes. In his final days, as the world collapsed around him, he had been working frantically to understand the Pandora virus. Somewhere in the complicated history of the project, in decades of missions and investigations, there had to be an answer. His notes were damaged, too many of the files corrupted. But perhaps, if we could retrace his steps, we could figure out where his journey had taken him and what the answers he had discovered would mean for us. All critical Phoenix objectives are marked with a Phoenix Point symbol in the objectives panel. Completing these objectives will bring you closer to solving the Pandora virus crisis. Taking this course is not the only path to victory. Whatever happened to Dr. Symes? Randolph Symes III's notes, uh, third's notes indicate the existence of a private retreat owned by the Symes family, used as a place of meditation and research. It may contain information that could help us understand what Symes was trying to achieve in his final days. Site added, the Symes retreat. We should send our operatives to investigate. There are a number of inactive Phoenix bases spread throughout the world. In order to activate them, select the base in the Geoscape and select Activate Base from the menu. Activation costs reduce uh, cost resources and the cost increases with each base activated. There is an increasing possibility, oh sorry, probability that bases will be infested after you activate them. You will need to send a squad to clear out the infestation before you can use the base. Okay. Are there any in particular? Yes, there's one there, one there. One down here, one over there, there, okay. There is one over here, but uh, getting that set up would be such a pain in the backside for us. Each one is absolutely worth it because it starts to scan. Maybe getting one set up over here early would be good. Or perhaps one down here. Link our way down to Australia. You're an odd one, aren't you? I don't know. There's part of me that wants to get a second base pretty quickly so I can start building it up. But at the same time, I don't have a lot of buildings to put in the second base. So. Oh, that's very interesting, actually. Thank you very much for that backseat pass there, um, Twilight Tender Warrior. The displayed power consumption in your base includes the power of the buildings that are being built. So, for instance, the 1420 already included the research lab being built. Right, 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 right. In that case, this draws power of one, that draws a power of one. I could have gotten 
An extra... Oh, damn it. Okay, maybe I should... Can I demolish this? I've probably already lost the energy to it. Sod it. It's very frustrating. 